Hi, I'm Pat and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're here for the Ronald McDonald House second annual toy rally up in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Check out a lot of these cool cars. Love the spec on this C7 Z06. All decorated up for Christmas. Very cool. I did. I said, y'all can go. And I, said, I told them, and they were like, oh, we got to work. And I said, no. and it was super fun. One of these new Supras. The R8 over here. This V10. All blacked out. V10. Very cool. And she sounds good, too. Monte. Check out the paint on this. This is terrific. Beautiful blue. Check out this carbon hood. <laughs> Come and take it. P610. And another R8 over here. Yeah, buddy. And nice Cayman. Come all the way from Delaware. Six speed manual. Very cool. Ooh, check out this carbon hood. This is really nice. Love it. M5 in the wagon. GTR over here. Little chilly, we got the S2000 out here too. <laughs> Hope he keeps the top down. Alright, here we go. We're on the rally. It's the toy run. We got some toys in the back. We got some people in front of us, behind us. It's a nice crowd.
yeah, it's exhausted outdoors, and the outdoors is like uh, hunting and fishing, stuff like that. Exhausted yeah. is, I like bikes and boats and cars, obviously, so the exhausted is anything with an yeah. exhaust, you know? Yeah, I saw your um, your YouTube uh, intro video where you described that. Yeah, from like two years ago yeah. where I looked like a little pimp. I thought it was, yeah, really good. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I had the squeaky old voice, yeah. That's yeah, all right. So, so your, your, your Instagram is the underscore in it, right? But your YouTube yes. doesn't? Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, cool. So we'll check you out. So tell me more about this car. I know you've been working on it a lot, doing a few modifications. Well, do we want to talk about how many times I've broken it? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Okay, well, there's... <laughs> First, what um, is it? Tell us what it is. This is a 2013 BMW 335i. It's a F30 body style, so 2013 and beyond. Um, pretty much what I've done to it is anything that I've broken. So I, I was on a cruise with these guys. I was pushing stage one, pushing twice the amount of boost as I was supposed to, and uh, blew my charge plate. And also broke the motor mount and didn't even realize till yesterday. Um, so then that now is billet aluminum. It can hold like 40 pounds of boost. Never going to hit that because then I'll be my rods and pistons will be astronauts by that point. Yep. yep. So uh, also just maintenance stuff. This was leaking the whole entire belly pan covered in oil. Oh. To, uh, new gaskets. Oh. Yep. New oil. Oh. Got to flush my coolant because that this is the, the coolant goes to cool the oil and it got all mixed. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> other than that, yesterday I just did a catless downpipe, so it's a little bit raspier, louder. Hoping to do a muffler delete soon, and uh, I'm running boot mode or boot mod three, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I have the verbal tune on there, rain outs off, and that's what I'm using to go stage one. Stage two in the future, I just need intercooler, so probably spring, stage two, making it around, uh, I want to say like 500 at the crank. Cool, wow. Like 520 torque, yeah, something like that. Th this thing's this thing's definitely going to put the IE <laughs> to the test. I think we want to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of testing, a little grudge match here with the i8. We'll see how it turns out. I, I want to fix my motor mounts first, though, because <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, I've made bad. the mistake of pushing this thing too far to the point where I blew up the uh, in, the uh, charge pipe. So, you know, yeah. th this happens when you push an engine to its limits. Things are going to break. Yeah, there's happens. the uh, there's the broken mount. motor mount. Oh. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. But other oh. than that, like I. I mean, I bought it at 53,000 miles. I just hit 60,000 60, miles yesterday, so put wow. 7,000 miles on it in seven months. Awesome. Um, it was down for three weeks when I blew this up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was I'll, following this guy's Instagram stories, and he was talking about all the different problems he was running into. And I was oh, like, hilarious. you need to put it together as a compilation to make a YouTube clip I forgot because it the was big great. One. The big one is, in order to do the gaskets, because BMW, when you take this out, you have to take out your, your intake manifold, right? Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there's a bolt hidden behind the intake manifold, and of course I'm taking it off. This bolt right here snaps. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so you had I, a hell of a time with that. It took me two weeks worth of ordering different bolt pullers until I finally got the sucker <laughs> out. And of course, then there's metal shavings in my intake yep. um, valves and all that. So I'm going in there with a vacuum and a magnet. Yeah. So, so oh, she's she's doing good for now. But um, pretty much whenever I break something, that's when I buy it. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. So where do you find the parts in order to fix something like that? I mean, where do you end um, up going? This a lot of this was FCP Euro. The other really good company. I have a sticker on the back here. Uh, he's Motorsports. Yeah, they do, yeah, they do a lot of the before. BMW parts, but there is I bought my tune through and my charge pipe down pipe. Uh, cool. My little lip spoiler. Cool. This broke off in a car wash, so I got a new one from there. <laughs> uh, it's dirty right now. That's all right, it's driven. Out. You know, that's the nice thing about it. It's driven. Yeah. And other than that's that, really cool. The, uh, it's a sport model. It's not the M Sport like my friend Bond's over here. Yep. But, uh, yep. I follow him the, too. Yes, it comes with the black pillars, blackout mirrors, stock. Cool. Factory. Cool. And the gorgeous red leather. Oh, I love the red leather. I think it's beautiful. It makes it, it it's the perfect accent for this car. Yeah, it, it's so good. Very, very cool. It matches the, uh, I mean, there's a bunch of little mods I'm doing. There's the, uh, I have painted calipers. I'm running carbon brakes because brake dust in BMWs. Is oh, really yeah. Bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then eventually I'm doing a new V brace in the front. A little cross member that goes to the sides like this. I'm going to be painting that red. Cool. And, yeah, uh, irresponsible amount of money. <laughs> There's one thing I've learned is BMW sometimes stands for big money waster. Yes. <laughs> My mechanic calls me Money Pit Dan. And <laughs> Very cool. Well, hey, yeah. thanks for chatting. Yeah, yeah, no it's pleasure, problem. pleasure seeing you as always. And yeah. uh, we'll wrap this one up for Check right out now. My stuff when I actually decide to upload. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah I, you know, keep keep tabs on this guy. You got the link in the description below, Instagram and YouTube, and. Uh, Right. Stuff to check out. I think they're rounding this up over here. For yeah, the, they are. Talk about the toys. So. Time to go do this charity yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely.
All right, we got the okay to drop our toys off. There's not a whole lot of room in the parking lot. So they're letting us go out in waves, which is just great with me. It gives an opportunity to sit back and chat with some folks and see all these great cars coming and going. We had an excellent time today at the Lancaster Cars and Coffee Toy Drive Rally. Man, excellent cars. It was a little bit chilly, but very well worth the drive. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and ring that bell for notifications. It means a lot to me. Thanks and have a great day.